50 survivors, 5-0, have come forward alleging rampant child abuse in the Maryland juvenile justice system. A series of lawsuits alleged that the state failed to prevent the abuse of children in their custody for over 50 years. This went on for 50 years, and we're just now finding out about it. One victim, Claudia McLean, who's now 49, was sent to a juvenile corrections facility at just 13 years of age for stealing bicycles and other misdemeanors. According to the lawsuit, she was assaulted over 15 times while there and at other juvenile facilities in the state. Listen to this transcript from the lawsuit. Claudia recalls that some of her friends and co-residents within the institutions actually took their own lives as a result of similar sexual abuse. Claudia remembers lying in her bed, fearfully listening to the sounds of others being assaulted, waiting for the key to her own room to turn as the perpetrators let themselves in, telling her she, quote, knew what time it was. Claudia herself attempted to take her own life within these institutions and was later committed to a medical center to treat her resultant mental disorders. Absolutely horrifying. These people preyed on the most vulnerable people they could find. The correctional system claims that his goal is rehabilitation. For children like Claudia, it's a nightmare come to life, one that will leave anyone scarred and broken. It's hard enough to read about what these kids went through. I can't imagine living through it. Attorneys wrote that, unfortunately, due to the department's abysmal lack of management and oversight, thousands of youngsters, thousands, have been harmed rather than helped as they became prey to sadistic staff whom they could not escape. Some of these kids were as young as seven years old. And it takes a true monster to harm any child, let alone a seven-year-old. The lawsuit was made possible by the Maryland Child Victims Act, which is a new law that eliminates the civil statute of limitations for child sexual abuse claims. Before, a victim would have to have come forward by the early 20s in order to seek justice, a time which they would absolutely still be processing their trauma. Now older victims can finally seek justice and accountability from the system and the people who preyed on them. Now, I hope that everybody in this suit gets the justice and closure that they're looking for, if indeed that is possible. And everybody who's involved directly or indirectly with these atrocious crimes against children needs to be held accountable. I don't care how long it's been or how embarrassing it might be for the state. These crimes deserve no less. And quite frankly, nothing is more embarrassing and disgusting that this was allowed to occur in the first place over 50 years. And furthermore, considering how underfunded all of our social services are in general and the penal system specifically, it would be foolish to assume that this is all decades old. This is all in the past. And in our rearview mirror, we have a choice to take the necessary steps to prevent things like this from happening to anybody's child in the future. But as long as we're largely willing to ignore what happens behind bars because it doesn't affect you, our collective choice becomes clear.